back in February or March, um, I qualified Jenna at an RQE at Aurora, Missouri. Uh, I've qualified her the last two or three years, I think, trying to trying to get here to this spot. We, we went ahead and paid her entry July 1st. Long story short, fast forward to August. We go to get ready to go to Autumn Oaks. I've got the dog looking real good to get there. We get headed, get ready to leave to go, and she's in heat. I don't get to take her to Autumn Oaks. Well, as you know, that's about 21 days before our zones. Finally, she gets out of heat there, right at right at the end. I pull her straight out of the in heat pen. We go straight to zones. I, I'm I can't get off work to go. Uh, my boss makes some exceptions. Shout out to her and and my coworkers. They came in and covered for me to for me to get there. I left and drove six hours and met her straight at the woods. Right when we went to turn her loose, I was there to get her out of the dog box and turn her loose. That's it. Shout out to my in-laws, um, Jennifer and Cheyenne Cummings. They took her, you know, got her there, got her confirmed, and we were able to hunt her that Friday night. And uh, we didn't do any good Friday, but Saturday night we we gave it a shot again. We treated a couple coons there by herself. Uh, had four and a quarter, and it put us like number 15 or 16 in the Palmyra zones and got us through to here. And uh, it, it was just a pretty cool deal to get here. Cheyenne Cummings, my father-in-law, he set up this cross. The guy that owns her mother, Redneck Baby, Dwayne Jeremiah, he, he called Cheyenne and asked, hey, what's a good dog, dog I need to breed to? Uh, the Mafia stuff always crossed over on Bone Collector stuff, and there was a real nice um, bone, male, bone Collector male dog there close by, uh, Backwater Banjo. I'd hunted him. Rob Thompson owned him at the time. And uh, so he, he had set that cross up, and, and because of that, Dwayne gave him um, a pup out of the deal. And when she was just a puppy, she wasn't, but I don't know, a couple months old, she was just running through the yard. He had her running loose and, and she was a firecracker. And I loved her from the day one. I like a white one. And uh, this little, she's got this dot in between her head. I don't know, it was something I fell in love with. And, and I took her and, and started her. She was wild as a buck deer. And, and uh, one thing after another, we, we got to this point. And you know, we've got a bond and, that nobody else has with her. She, she loves affection and, and wants to be petted on, but at the same time, she's all business. Um, she uh, she don't like strangers real well, and uh, I, I can't have anybody else really hunt her. She acts completely crazy. But other than that, you know, she, she's a pleasure to be around. She uh, she wants wants to be on you and your have your attention all the time, and and she she's just a pretty good dog through and through. Whether she was a coon hound, a world champion, anything, she's just a, a fun one to have to have at the house. So I'm, I'm fortunate enough to have her, and her personality is perfect. I wouldn't change it for the world. It's definitely a once in a lifetime opportunity, I think. I'm obviously not gonna quit at that. I'm gonna try to win it again. I mean, it's, it's huge. It's the granddaddy of them all, we know that. And to win this, something like this is crazy. It, it hasn't quite soaked in yet, but I'm sure it will on the drive home. So I, I'm super excited. You know, I, I couldn't have done it with a better cast of guys. We were, we were out there cutting up and, and um, you know, congratulations to them. We, we had a great time and, and I, I couldn't, I wouldn't ask for it to be any, any other way but the way we did it, so. Uh, you know, she looked she looked good there, and and um, there wasn't no doubt tonight which one which one looked the best, and that's that's the way I want it to be. Mm -hmm.